Hi, I'm Kate and welcome to Unity Chic. We're moving on to rule number four, which is eat to meals together and eat without distraction. Eating meals together makes life more pleasurable. You're enjoying company and conversation, talking about your day, de-stressing. And I think that it makes meals so much more than just about food. I also think it's nice to set a nice table, put a tablecloth down, use good china, really enjoy the meal, not just the, the taste, but also the sights. Put on some nice music, low, soft in the background. Because once again, food is supposed to be enjoyable. Meals are supposed to be enjoyable for you and your family. A good rule of thumb is that, at least something we've worked with, is you don't have to eat the food. I'm not gonna force you to eat it. You have the choice whether or not you want to starve. However, um, you do have to sit at the table. You have to sit there, you have to converse, and you have to be a part of the family or sometimes friends group. Eat without distractions. I think for a lot of Americans, we've slipped into the TV dinner sort of mindset of, oh, I'll just eat this in front of the television. And I'm just as guilty as other people. We do pizza with movies sometimes. But I think we tend to enjoy our food and you are more mindful of what's going in your mouth when you turn off the television. Not that you have to eat in front of it, but some people will turn it on in the background to listen to it. It's the same thing. You're distracted. Cell phones are another big no-no in our house. I don't really particularly care for cell phone usage at the table. Um, I once had <laughs> to threaten somebody uh, that if their significant other picked up a phone at my house, it would get dunked in the water. I just think it's rude, especially for the people who are there, because what it says to somebody is, the person who is calling in on that phone or texting you is more important than the people you're already with. And with your family especially, I think that's a really bad habit to teach your children. Parents these days get annoyed with their teenagers always on their cell phones, but they had to have learned it somewhere or they need to be corrected. Because some parents don't talk on their cell phones, but they need to be corrected. And for babies, um, we occasionally will give Nora toys in her high chair, but it is a before meal thing. I don't let her play with toys at the table. I don't think Game Boys or whatever the new fingle thing is, is really okay to have at the table. It makes it just not about the food and being at the table should be about the food, the company and enjoying life. Isn't that right? Yeah. So, try just a meal without any distractions and also enjoy it with the people you're with. Sit down with them. It'll make it better. Thanks.